March has officially arrived, and that means it's time to look at some upcoming games that you could be playing this month. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and leave me a comment below letting me know which of these games you're most excited to play. Now, there's a lot of games to play this month, so I'm gonna try expanding from 10 games, wait for it, to 12. <gasps> so a couple extra games for you. Plus, I'm splitting up the TikTok videos a lot more even. Now, let's take a look at 12 upcoming indie games that you can play in March 2024. First up, we got this little space adventure called the Mobius Machine. The Mobius Machine is a Metroidvania that shares a similar art style to the Oddworld franchise. Explore this complex, interconnected open world as you discover a vast alien planet, fight ferocious local fauna and killer machines, and reveal its secrets and find a way to escape. Fend off these alien forces as you collect blueprints to upgrade and craft new weapons that will unlock new areas of the map, as well as evolve your little astronaut dude to climb walls, dive underwater, and glide through the air. The Mobius Machine drops on PC through Steam, as well as PlayStation 5 and Xbox consoles starting March 1st. Oh look, another Metroidvania, but this time, we're becoming the enemy. This is Biomorph, a darker Metroidvania where you'll transform into the various creatures you defeat. You'll then use their abilities to fight other creatures or utilize their powers to navigate through the uncharted areas of this map. But be careful, because if you try to fight the same enemy again, they'll learn from your last encounter, so they won't be as big of a pushover as they were last time. Solve ingenious puzzles and navigate through a gorgeous hand-drawn world, as you meet quirky characters and rebuild this once thriving city. You can check out Biomorph when it releases on Steam starting on March 4th. Imagine a game that's just you playing with your old Tamagotchi, but instead, you're training the next world-saving hero. Welcome to Yoke Heroes, a long-gone Tamago, a time management game where you'll raise your own hero from birth, become their guardian spirit, and teach them how to become a brave warrior. You'll quest and grind to protect the citizens of this realm, all while learning to become semi-responsible for another human life. Watch your baby elf hatch from an egg so you can clean, train, and educate them, and then lead them into battle as they defeat the evil forces of the Dark Lord. Enjoy this charming quest of parenthood and heroism when Yoke Heroes drops on Steam starting on March 5th. Reveal is a narrative first-person psychological thriller that has a heavy focus on story, puzzles, and exploration, all wrapped up in a scary circus setting. Wake up as Walter Thompson, a run-of-the-mill guy whose wife and daughter have both gone missing. As you explore this possibly abandoned circus, you'll solve versatile puzzles and discover confusing clues that you'll have to attempt to make sense of. And as things get even more bizarre, the lines between reality, memory, and imagination become insanely blurred. And sadly, there's no way back. Do you have what it takes to find your family and bring this circus nightmare to an end? If so, don't forget to look out for a reveal when it drops on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox starting on March 6th. Enjoy a musical adventure about restoring harmony to Boomin Valley in Snufkin. This cozy hidden object adventure has you set out to remove some hideous sparks that have started spawning all over the landscape. Immerse yourself in an imaginative world that's based on a classic book and cartoon series from Nordic history. Befriend the inhabitants of Moomin Valley and embark on a journey alongside them. Plus, I mentioned it was a musical adventure, so you're likely to hear some lovely songs along the way as well. Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley releases on Steam, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox starting on March 7th. Climb gigantic monsters and find what you've been seeking in Chasing the Unseen. Take the scale and spectacle of Shadow of the Colossus and mix it with the verticality of Only Up, and you have Chasing the Unseen. This young boy finds himself in a surreal world where he must find what he's seeking. Yeah, that's what it says on the Steam page, so I don't truly know what that entails, but it sounds adventurous. This single-player adventure focuses on the exploration of these abstract worlds as you marvel at these mysterious and awe-inspiring environments. Climb giant octopus tentacles, jump across the spirals of a snake's body, and who knows what else will come your way in this otherworldly experience. Chasing the Unseen releases on PC through Steam starting on March 7th. This next game is all about relaxing and building houses. This pretty adventure is called Summer House. In Summer House, all you do is build houses. Not to occupy guests, not to make money, just to build. Go through a collection of various assets to place in your own world. Add doors, windows, traffic signs, balconies, and whatever else you can come across to make what feels like a quaint little house. Summer House is one of those games where the only true objective is to just vibe out and see what creativity you can bring to the table. But there might be some tables you can add to your house, so who knows? You can kick back and start building when Summer House releases on Steam starting on March 8th. Go out on some mysterious dungeon adventures with a deck of magical cards in Dungeon Drafters. Exploring ancient ruins as one of these six powerful characters, you'll take on this tile-based dungeon-crawling roguelike, where you get to create unique spell decks to defeat the creatures around you. Battle with all of your might to learn the hidden skills of the various creatures across the different dungeons. Just make sure you know when to call it quits and head home, otherwise you might dive too deep and lose everything. I played the demo for Dungeon Drafters a few years back during Steam Next Fest, and I loved my time with it. So get ready to set on your own journey when Dungeon Drafters releases on Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Xbox starting on March 14th. What's that? You don't feel like waiting that long to play? Well, then this game is already available for you to pick up right now on Steam, so go play it there. Now, in case you missed it, I'm going to be on a PAX panel this year. If you're going to be at PAX East on Sunday, March 24th, be sure to swing by the Albatross Theater at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to catch me and a bunch of other creators talk about the best games to play on the Nintendo DS. And if you aren't going to be in Boston, don't worry about it. The panel is also going to be streamed on the PAX 2 Twitch channel at the exact same time, so you can still catch all the awesome fun from the comfort of your own home.
and I'll be at the convention all weekend. So if you're around, want to grab some selfies, show me and my friends your games, or just tell me about your favorite indie games altogether, come find me on the show floor. Bulwark Falconer Chronicles is an open world city builder where you'll forge your own world that's been shattered by the people who came before you. Sculpt your world from daunting cliffs and perilous waters as you rebuild the civilization upon it. Start from humble docks as you scavenge for more useful resources and grow your community into a population of skyscraping adventurers. Construct airships and giant warbirds as you develop trading routes and build alliances with nearing settlements to strengthen your community. This world and its choices are yours to make. Defend your bulwark, build without limits, and immerse yourself in creative chaos. Bulwark Falconer Chronicles releases on Steam, PlayStation 5, and Xbox starting on March 26th. This mother-daughter road trip is going to get a little bit deeper than I think we expected. This is Open Roads, a narrative adventure game about Tess, a young woman dealing with a relationship with her mother that's honestly been pretty rocky to say the least. On this adventure, Tess and her mother will discover a lot of hidden family secrets, going from gorgeous 2D animated cutscenes to 3D environments where you'll study old journals and explore various family properties to uncover what your family tree is really all about. Starring Carrie Russell, who I only know as the mom from Bedtime Stories, and Caitlin Deaver, the girl who's playing Abby in season two of The Last of Us, you should be prepared for an emotional family road trip like no other. Starting on March 28th, you can pick up Open Roads for Steam, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Now here's my most anticipated indie game from this month, Pepper Grinder. As the pirate who's been shipwrecked and robbed of the treasure, Pepper takes her trusty drill, aka Grinder, and hunts down the thieves who robbed her in the first place. Drew through these intricately designed levels in this 2D action platformer while you collect treasure, defeat nasty foes, and dig through the earth like a dolphin, but like, on land. Pepper Grinder is another game where I got the chance to play the demo fairly recently, and I was broken inside when the demo ended. So I can't wait to get back into this awesome world very soon. You can dig into Pepper Grinder when it releases on Steam and Nintendo Switch starting on March 28th. Finally, to round out this list, let's take a peek at Omega Crafters, an open world survival crafting game where you get to bring along your programmable sidekick. Grammy is a little robot companion who you can program to collect materials, build your town, or craft weapons and armor as you develop their operating system and set them up to perform each task that you need them to. But of course, you're gonna need some materials for all that stuff. So be ready to fight the wild animals, search for materials, and build your own little home to keep you safe from the dangers outside. Omega Crafters releases an early access starting on March 29th for Steam. And there we have it, 12 upcoming indie games that you can play in the month of March. Be sure to let me know which of these games you're most excited for in the comments down below. And once again, I'm gonna be at PAX East this month, so if you're gonna be there as well, be sure to come say hi. And last but certainly not least, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stick around for some more indie gaming content.